You can generate a color screen from any color you wish, and I'm told there's three million colors possible, though I haven't spent the time to count them all. You have five ink wells, kind of your custom colors, and you can change that by clicking on an ink well and then scrolling to a color. And here's how I select my colors. I move the top bar first of all to a color area that I enjoy. For example, if I want green, I move it into the green range. And this is the final color. This is the color that the audience will see. This is my color swatch. So I get into the green and then I can either just left click twice to select a color or left click once and then move my trackball up, down, right or left to select the exact color that I want the audience to see. And you can see my inkwell has now changed. You can also archive your colors, load and save them. Okay. Or if I simply click OK with that green, I now have, by left clicking, I have a three second long clip with the green that I have selected. Another important tool in here that's, uh, I think, smarted at four and higher, if I want to select the color and make a full color screen from a color that exists in my video footage, we have that capability. I left click on color and now I choose a scene. Let me come back here to these uh, beautiful wildflowers and left click OK. And now you see this little dot. This is my color selecting tool. So if I click on position and scroll around, if you look in the bottom corner here by color, it's showing me what color it's selecting. We can make this sampler larger, 20 pixels by 20 pixels. The smallest is a 2 by 2 pixel. I can come down here and select this deeper, more full orange color, and now that becomes the color for a background screen. So you can make some really cool titles. You can pick the color out of the bride's dress or out of the bride's bouquet for those of you who do weddings. You can pick colors out of invitations or, or holiday cards. It's a really, really nice tool, and again, that's found under New under color and that's pick color. You're going to see that in several menus in the Casablanca interface and that's how you use the pick color function. Other choices here we've gone down.